Hello everyone, and welcome back to Elden Ring. So glad to have you with me. Um, and as you can see, I'm actually wielding my sword two-handed. I decided that I would at least try this out. I was a little bit worried about wielding two-handed because, you know, without a shield, you know, I I'll be more prone to damage. So I decided, well, let me try two-handed. It does deal one and a half times more damage, so... You know, we'll at least try it out and see how it goes, because I know there were some people that recommended that I should try it. So I'll at least try it. If I if it doesn't go well, then I'll switch back to having a shield. But um, what I want to do is I actually want to go over to the beginning area where I first started this endeavor. All right, so here we are back in the big wide open world. And I have been thinking that I definitely want to face this guy over there. And you know what I just realized? Is I never touched this side of grace, which apparently was right in front of me when I first started the game. I never saw it. How about that? I'm just now realizing that I missed this during the first beginning part of the game. And I missed talking to this person. Who would have known? So you can use the map to, well, to, well I guess you guys would have. Use your map to check your current position, as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. <laughs> I'm like eight hours into this game and just now getting this. Um, yeah, use the map. I understand. And then who is this? I never talked to this person. Done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the round table hold. My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the round table? Oh, you don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now, it's home to puff chests and has-beens. Has-beens. You've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. Um. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great room. And request audience. A great rune. With the two fingers in the inner chamber. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit. So that you may see for yourself. Okay. So I need a great rune. Uh, okay, that sounds good. I'm happy to have a great rune. No issues with that at all. Uh, but I don't know where I'll find a great rune. Maybe I'll just find it in my, in my exploratory travels. But, um, certainly I definitely want to take on this guy right here. I feel like I've leveled up a lot, so I'm hoping that, uh... Oh god, he is very strong. Okay, so he's gonna kill me that easily. Oh my god. Never mind. He knocked me off my horse in one hit. He then almost killed me in one hit. So clearly I'm not supposed to mess with that dude. Whoopsie. Um, okay, instead what I'm gonna do is now that I have leveled up a bit, and I'm a little bit stronger than I used to be, I'm gonna pick up those runes right here. I'm just gonna run past him. Just run right past him. Wow. I'm just gonna keep going. Um, let's get out of here. That guy's way too strong for me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try try facing him again and see if I if I'm strong enough to face this guy. I'm hoping that I am, uh, but I'm not sure. So we'll see if I'm strong enough. Whew. 
Okay. Here we go. Let's try this. And you know what? I'm going to try facing him just myself, but we will see if I need to touch this uh, gold summon sign here. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to try beating him without it. Um, and I really... I guess I'm going to use... That wasn't terrible. Ah, uh, that was way too early. Ah, uh, it was also too early. I am dealing more damage this time. I'm dealing a lot more damage <laughs> than I used to be dealing. So that's good. What am I doing being so greedy? I should know better. For me to get him this far. Ah. Uh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so that was better than last time just because I had I actually got him to the halfway point. I don't think I ever got him to the halfway point before. So that was pretty good. One other thing that I'm actually gonna do now, uh, one of my commenters told me that it might be a good idea for me to equip one of those um, amulets. Let me see, where is it right here? There it is, right here. So apparently, uh, this guy does, um, oh geez, I gotta go to the right thing, equipment. If I go to this right here, I actually should wear my Halleck Drake Talisman because it boosts my holy damage negation. And they told me that this guy does holy damage. And I think he does that holy damage with the that sword that he has and the hammer. So um, let's see if that's effective against him. I'm hoping it is. Okay. Yeah, I need to fix this. This is not gonna work. Here we go. Maybe this will do better now that I he, I have much more uh, damage negation. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't prevent fall damage negation. Uh, so, yeah. Let's try that again. I think that helped. But if I'm just being dumb, that's not gonna help me. Ah, I thought it was far enough away. Okay, sure, whatever. It seems like I can't get a hit in without first getting a hit myself. It's like, if I want to get a hit in, I have to get a hit. It feels like that, which is obviously not true, but it's really difficult for me to get a hit in. Damn 
that it's so hard to determine when he's going to actually throw it. I actually, I feel like I need the 100% damage negation. I just deal, I just, personally, I think I just fight better knowing I have a shield. Too far away. I can do this. I can do this. I can do it. Got some of your patterns down, buddy. Ah, fuck. Oh, get away from the edge. Get away from the edge. Ah, run. Fuck. I'm just trying to get away from the edge. God damn it. Hard to time that correctly. Never seen that move before. You're never too far away, you know? Yep, just like right there, you're not too far away.
right, Margaret, let's go. I suck so bad. close. Ah, come on. That's a new one. Ah. Oh. You know what? That's the best run I've ever had, actually. That was more than halfway. I think I can keep pushing this. I can keep going. I can I can do this. There we go. A solid 290 points. but I should have known better than that. I probably shouldn't have wasted that healing potion because I didn't get the most out of it. Ah, too far away. Okay, 
I, I'm kind of getting used to him a little bit. I know he's going to do another attack right there. Then I get a counter. But then I should not choose two after that. Yeah. Okay. Heal up. At least he backed off. Oh, I thought I was far enough away. Okay, sure. It's not fair, but whatever. If you kind of roll into him, then he uses his little sword against you. And that is just unfair almost. Fuck. Dude. The game is so fucking hard. It's so hard. At least for me it is. It's very, very hard. It's those hits right afterward that hurt so much. Oh, come on, dude. I guess, when am I gonna learn my lesson? That's kind of gonna be the, the real thing there. When am I gonna learn my lesson that I should block? And then don't go for a second hit. He deals so much damage. He deals so much damage. Try this. Hopefully, this helps.
they help a little bit for sure. They help a lot actually. dodged in time wow but you know what the godric soldiers are pretty dope i'm gonna use those again <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use those again for sure um because i just want to get past this guy at this point i would i tried doing it by myself but like i it's just too hard so i'm gonna summon this dude tell somebody tell me in the comments is that a real player or is that an a bot is that a real player or is that a bot i actually don't know how come because if it's a bot because if it's a real player how come they're not dodging i mean that's an obvious Like, why aren't they dodging that? It's obvious. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna summon my, my little men. Alright, help me out, guys. Let me get them past this last bit. Heal up. I feel like I'm cheating. It's I'm getting so much help. helped a lot. Oh shit. Oh my god. It's still gonna be left up to me in the end, watch. Oh my god, I finally beat it. Oh man, I did beat it, but not without a lot of help. Oh my gosh. I did beat it guys but it was I it was a, it's not really truly deserved de deserving for me to call it a real defeat I got the help of a co-op partner I don't know if that was an AI bot or if that was a real person I also summoned the Godric people the Godric soldiers I found those in that jellyfish fields and uh but I did beat it, with, but not without a lot of help. I certainly didn't do it on my own. When I did it on my very own, the very best run I had, I got it, like, down to... Hit, I got him to, like, 45% health, a little bit more than half, maybe 40% health, all on my own, but I never got it past that by myself. So, oh well, though. I did beat it, and at least I can move on. Uh, so, <laughs> I am pretty happy, though. I did get something... I got a pouch... Um, 
I want to look at the pouch and see what what exactly did I get it's this right here it increases talisman equip slots so wait I can have two at a time now Wow guys look at that I can now have two talismans at once so now I'm raising my maximum HP and holy damage negation. I probably don't need that. Increased charge attacks. So now I've got better health and I've got boost enhanced charged attacks. That's pretty cool. What does a charge attack look like now that it's enhanced? It looks the same. Maybe it just deals more damage. But here I am. I'm going up to Stormvale Castle. Uh, with a lot of help, I got past that boss. Um, so I feel humbled. For sure. Actually, you know what? I should rest really quick and get all of my stuff back. Oh, shoot. I'm holding 9,000 runes. I didn't realize that killing him gave me that many runes. I guess that makes sense, though. He was a boss, so I suppose I get to level up a few times. So let's go with leveling up. Maybe actually just once I'll be able to level up, but we'll see. I'll increase my strength and my vigor. All right, cool. So my strength and my vigor are both being leveled up here. Very nice. All right, guys. I think that'll do it for this episode. It was just basically a rematch between me and Margot the Fell. Now, although I did get a lot of help to defeat Margot, I still feel really good and really accomplished that I can finally move on in the game and move forward. I hope you're looking forward to the next episode because I'm excited to see what the hell is going on in this castle and where the game is going to take me next. Super excited. Can't wait to get into it. I'll see you guys next time.